house out there. It's been raining out there all night long. But at least there's no snow on the ground, so that's a big positive. I parked by a city drain last night, so it sounded like a water feature all night. When I used to live in my condo, it was like my little protective space. Kind of like my own little bubble world inside of this big world. But now that I live in a van, it's got this rawness and realness to it. When it's windy, it rocks my home. When a bad weather system comes through, it feels like I'm living in it. I'm waking up over here on the side of the road and it's been five years of me, well, street living. And I get stoked about waking up and going to bed every day and that is the full truth. The same stoke I feel right now is the same stoke I felt in the first couple of months of like, <laughs> I slept right there. 100% true. That is never ever once stopped for me. Sure, van life has had its ups and downs over the years and we'll talk about some of that stuff here today. But honestly, there's no other way I would rather live than out here on the side of the road on a windy, wet, rainy day all by myself. There's nobody's living around here at all. A couple of cars there that belong to the townhouses and stuff that are there, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just me out here and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's sometimes super exciting when you curl up in bed at night and you get this giddiness like <laughs> yeah, I'm parked right here and you hear people walking by for their evening walks and you're lying right there in bed on the side of the road watching yourself a little Netflix nice and warm. <laughs> so good. You gonna get out of bed? <laughs> Crazy just hangs out in bed sometimes for like an hour in the morning before he even gets up. Yeah, Mr. Lazy Boy. If you're watching my channel because you're looking at getting into van life because of financial reasons, man, I know. I've been there. I know what it's like to pay rent. The biggest bill I ever had was rent. Meaning I had no money left over to pay debt. And if I looked at my debt repayment at two, three hundred a month, I would have been in debt for 25 years if I never racked up any more. I would have been stuck in that same miserable state forever. So getting into my van allowed me to drop my biggest expense and put that money towards, well, my debt. I cleared up my debt in a year. It was downright epic. But watch the end of this video because that hashtag van life dream doesn't have to be what you see on the internet. This little town of Maple Ridge sure knows how to do Christmas. Always so cheerful here. <laughs> This is just right in town. Like all the streets are all covered like this. It's really beautiful. Always makes for a nice little morning drive. And they have these little star things on every tree all the way through town. How cool is that, right? So beautiful. <laughs> Those are cool. I remember making my very first Christmas video right here. <laughs> the snow was freshly falling and we don't get that very often on Christmas day where there's a few snowflakes here and there. But I was standing right here making that video. And that was my first year of not paying rent. And boy, did it ever feel so, so good. But I think there's way too many people out there that look at van life as like this great big run away from it all dream like escape the world and live that great big dream of being a full-time nomad where that's not the reality for a lot of people if you don't already run an existing online business or a creative business then don't look at starting one now and make that hold you back from starting van life because it will if you've got to start van life and start a business to be able to afford to travel Full time and not be stationary then boy you're gonna you're gonna slow down on ever starting this dream there's nothing wrong with going to work at a coffee shop or a waitress or bartender or work for a construction company in a town for six months and then save all that money live in your van that whole time 
and then after you've built up a bit of bank, go travel for six months? There's nothing wrong with that dream. I don't know where people got it in their head that you have to drop it all just to live in, just to live the van life. You can live the van life and still be stationary. You know, if anything, my shop videos right now should be showing you that, that you can, you can sleep on the street at night and go to a sticks and bricks place and work all day, then leave there and go back to your home. When you're in a traditional job, you don't have to show your boss where you live. Your boss never has to come over to your house. As long as you show up to work every day on time, clean, showered and ready to work and you have good work ethic, then your boss isn't gonna care if you go home at the end of the day and live in this thing. So I think more people need to just drop that where whoever started the van life dream and just make the dream whatever you want this van life dream to be. The dream doesn't have to be quitting the job. You know? <laughs> I like this spot, it's really, really pretty. Coffee's over. <laughs> I woke up this morning just thinking about those people who aren't starting living their life the way they want to live it because they always have, well, I need this to start something. Like too many people put barricades in front of them. Like they have a goal over here, but they have so many barricades that they put in front of it that they never end up achieving what they want out of their life. You know what I mean? Like some people are like, well, I would love to do this. But, 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 throw all these butts in the way. <laughs> not butts, not like butts, butts, but, but. <laughs> How many times can I say butts in a video? But they create obstacles for themselves. Like people have said to me so many times on this on this journey over the last five years that they want to do this, but they want to do that, but they wish they could, but I am proof that you can, you can do whatever the heck you want. I started with nothing in a van. I also worked at the beginning though, to get where I needed in YouTube to be able to cut back on having a paycheck. You know what I mean? At the beginning, I was DJing as many high priced gigs as I can, as many as I can, just so I could afford to live in a vehicle. But I took as many high priced gigs so I didn't have to work as much so I could focus on this because I wanted this to be my living, this to be my income. But I was putting in 15 hour days every day, seven days a week to get my channel to where it's earning a living you know it took a lot of effort and a lot of work and then in the, in the first year i didn't make any money in the first year of my youtube channel patreon is what i lived on it was there was no money on youtube and if it wasn't for patreon i wouldn't have gotten my start so to all my current patreon supporters thank you you've been rock stars to me the entire time and i i'm here today full-time YouTubing because Patreon gave me my start. They really honestly did. They gave me the extra little bit of finances I needed to, to be able to slow down on DJing and focus on one thing. So please, you guys, don't lose that work ethic. Don't get into van life if you're my age. I'm not talking about those who are jumping into retirement because you earned this time. Go enjoy it. But if you're my age, don't lose that work ethic, man. I've seen that in the world in so many places that people just don't want to work anymore. And if and if you want to just go earn a living on online and be a YouTuber, then do that too. There's nothing wrong with do whatever you want to do with for income. There's so many different ways to make money in this current world that we live in right now that were not options for me 20 years ago, 25 years ago. The internet is an is an amazing place to to sell things or sell your creativity or whatever you have to offer. I don't want you guys to give up on wanting to do van life because you can't figure out a way to earn living, earn a living while you travel. Look, if you're a carpenter, every place in every town somewhere needs a carpenter. There's no shortage of work these days. So honestly, get out there and just work. 
I drive by help for help signs. You know, any places we've dropped into a coffee shop and they're like closed today due to staff shortages. There's so many ways to make money nowadays. Get out there, throw out a damn resume, drop what you have if you're sick and tired of it, move into the van that you've always dreamed about doing, and just work and roam around and work. I guess the point I'm trying to make is is, is stop, stop thinking of van life as a drop everything sort of thing. You know, just work and live in your van. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. You know, you don't have to go home to the same place every day and it's such a beautiful thing because those were some of the things that really bothered me at the very beginning of my van, not, not my van life, that bothered me getting into um, van life at the beginning was I hated routine. I didn't like driving the same route to work every day. I didn't like coming home to the same view every day and the same thing. It was just the same, the same, the same. Nothing ever changed. So back then, if I would have maintained the day job and then just moved into my van, I could have slept in whatever town. I had to drive through five towns or six towns just to get to work from my where I lived to where my day job was. I could have slept, I could have slept outside my day job. You know, I could have had tons of fun. And I think if I would have just changed that aspect, I would have been out of debt way sooner in life. But, you know, yeah, I'm just babbling at this point. We're going to let you guys go. You know, go live the life that you guys want to live. But remember, the baseline to anything is you got to put in some time. You got to work hard to get what you want. You know, YouTube's not easy, too. If you want to be a YouTuber, it's just, that's not easy, man. Let me tell you, you got to put in work. If you think working an eight-hour job is too much, well, starting a YouTube channel is gonna gonna consume way more of that time. Let me tell you. You know, it's been a long time since I've made videos like this. I used to just stand in the streets and talk to you guys all the time at the beginning of my channel, all the time. Like I did more just talking videos than anything else. That's the great thing about doing so many, so much content on YouTube is that I don't have to plan this big epic adventure. I can just turn my camera on and talk. That's the fun part about doing so many videos is like, they don't always have to be epic. You know, just give you guys a little piece of my day and that's it's enough for me. It's enough to make me happy. And I make videos out here to make me happy and hopefully inspire some of you guys to, to do something, you know, maybe share a bit of knowledge that I've learned about van life over the years or anyway guys we're done <laughs> uh, all you lazy people that don't want to work go to work <laughs> I'm getting tired of seeing those help wanted signs and so many people out there saying that they need money I don't get it I don't I, I just isn't can't wrap my head around it so many people are looking to get out of debt and so many people are looking for people to work why do you just put those two together and just get the job done I don't know it's a, it's a weird world these days. I'm not used to seeing, um, we're all not used to seeing so many businesses that can't find people to work. Um, yeah, I don't know where that old school work ethic went. I got it. I got that old school work ethic. I, I, love, I love the grind. Anyway, my friends, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys soon.